Hi and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. This week you find us in the Paris catacombs and I'm currently on the throne of bones. This is going to be a good video. just hit 11 o'clock at night. We've been told that if we go to the bones, it's gonna be about three o'clock in the morning by the time we've done, which is absolutely fine. That's a normal Monday night for us. So, that's really strange. No, I'm just saying it's a normal Monday night for us. That's what we do on a Monday. We're not saying it's Monday now, and it's not even, oh, it's Sunday morning soon. No, it's not yet though. Not yet, that's why I said soon. Stop correcting me, I know I'm wrong, but I'm not gonna. I'm not going to admit I'm wrong, but I am. Well, you're just admitting it then. <laughs> <laughs> not very really clever, me, am I? Oh, this is not a good idea, though, walking back. Oh, you're turning now, Oh. What's it on? Shit, it's pretty quick. Shit. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> that was all because I walked backwards, we almost lost them. You're like blind, you never want to be like, yeah, it's not behind you. <laughs> this is, that's the problem. I've got two, two mats and two Andes, and it's a nightmare. Yeah. I'm doing it again, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's, it's, it's beyond different. amazing, isn't it? It's just, it is something different, totally. <laughs> I'm just sick of filming back of people's heads, that's what it is. Right, we, we had to stop a minute, because we thought there was somebody else coming, but we seem to be all right now. Oh, God, we must have walked, I don't know, I'd, I'd say, over five miles. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Play in there. Open the door. Walk in. Right. So this is the entrance to the cemetery. It's above us. It's the main cemetery of here. And uh, now we uh, we go in there. Okay. And um, in a few minutes uh, we saw sea bones. And uh, then uh, I think uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes uh, we are. Over. Dude, ten freaking ah. minutes. So I'm following Andy now. Man. We're not far off the bones. Are you excited, Andy? Very. For a good boning down the tunnel? I like good boning. I know you do. Oh no, I don't know you do. I'll need to reword what I'm saying sometimes. <laughs> Just saying though, Bucky and me were having a conversation a minute. I would turn around and show him because he's out behind me, but I'm going to smash my head in again. <laughs> but basically, we've just been saying you could be anywhere in the world down here you, you can't tell that you're in france you can't tell that you like if it were germany or you know, england or anything it reminds me of knowing you've been to pyramids in egypt haven't yeah you? it is a little bit like a little going, bit like that isn't it? yeah under the pyramids it is very much like that it reminds me of egyptian yeah Watch this, this is a level, don't fall to the next level up to those. Don't fall down there. Don't fall down there, yeah, you'll have to get a That is crazy. Imagine slipping down there. You don't want to have a bag down there, haven't you? You just said I won't fit down there, it's all massive. Fresh water. You see it all actually just coming up from the ground. You can see. In this oh, corner. That looks really clear, really nice water. Fresh water. Fresh water. Beautiful. Jeez. Oh. Outside of these, look. How far can they go? Wow. Do you look? What is it? Oh, it's tunnels. So that's the streets. That's 
Keep going. I want to see these bones just as much as you guys want to see these bones. I don't know. Do you reckon they're like passing spots? Oh, they could be, I suppose. They could be made by the Romans, that's straight. Yeah. yeah, they are really straight. It's like, it's a proper feat of engineering, this, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's weird how it's all different heights, and then one bit is dead tall, one bit is dead tall. But you know the shape of it? Thin at the top, wide in the middle, thin at the bottom. It's like a coffin. It is. It's like it got a coffin shape to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's going crazy, look. I don't know what's happening with this torch, it's not like this, no, look at it. Come to the first human bone, and my torch goes mental. Well, Oh, this, is, this is round. You can go round here. What is happening? And, uh, please, 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 that's dead humans. Please respect. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And very don't pick them all. All right. Perfect. Okay. Right, guys. Now, I know it's a bit noisy. But look, first of all, right, first of all, my torch has gone mental. That is a big ass bone. But what everybody's interested in, I think, is the skulls. Now we don't want to see Bucky's skull. Hey, I'm leaving you need a new pelvis. I'm leaving you everything. He will, <laughs> he will do bones. soon. Get yeah, a quick down here. What's happening to this? It's just suddenly gone absolutely yeah, crazy. Oh, oh. oh. That's it's changing colour. No, it's got four hours, seven minutes left on it. As soon as we hit this bit with the bones, it's just gone crazy. Wait, what do you mean it's gone crazy? You're it's like, just, yeah. Watch. I'm not, well. There you go. It's just freaking out and doing it on the side. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing anything to it. Alright, so we're just making through our way through the first sort of bit with human bones in. And it's one, it's awkward to get into, but two, it's just freaky. It really is. So like I was saying, the thought of. 1854, all oh, these bones were placed down here. Bits of skull. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Now I've had to move on to the backup torch. There's hip bones and all sorts in there. But I've had to move up onto the backup torch purely because the other one's gone mental. Bucky's just been saying, we think we're walking on the surface and we're trying to miss the bones. Actually, this floor is just made of compacted bones that have been mushed. Because, and the way you can see that is they drop right down, right inside. What I'm thinking is, them entrances would have been, our level stood up. Yeah, they probably So I reckon would. you could walk around this stood up, so that's how high them bottom. Well, yeah, because he wouldn't feet. put that, yeah. that low down. No, pretty higher up. It'd be higher up. So you've got probably at least another Three or four three, feet. Yeah, three or four feet underneath. That's crazy. It stinks in here. Yeah, it does. That's the smell of dead bones. Yeah, dead, dead bones. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Oh, that's just absolutely insane. But look, you've got bits of hip bones. You've got, I don't even know what that is. That's like where a joint is, isn't it? Where the end of a bone goes in. That's great. What, how are you feeling about this? It's sad to be fair. It is sad because these are all lives, these are all people. What's it this one? Oh, why around it? Oh, what? Like they've had a, an operation or something and they've... Oh, they've, they've tried to keep the body together. Oh, and that, tried yeah. to wire it together somehow. Yeah, keep it all in one piece. That's weird. Really weird. What's in here? What I will say, Matt, is right now this it's a bit you bright on your face. Is there's about ten foot of nothing but bones and rotten flesh, and it's it's that compact. It's made this walkway. Whoa. It's a bit of a weird feeling, really. Uh, yeah, it. millions of bodies That's here. That's better because I can see bones now. Nice. Uh, millions of bodies. Uh, I'm not squeamish or anything. It's not that I'm squeamish. It's just it's just like you know. Special. I wouldn't. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have done it to the level where you've yeah, got like a mud. Right. It's like mud cool. and sand now. Sweet. This place is oh, you know. Yeah, it's in this one. Why around it? Some stones here. Oh. Yeah, it's like they wanted to put it together. Yeah, it's like they've tried to keep the the body together somehow. Oh, I got to get this on camera. Hold on. 
You guys, I just noticed something. Can you tell me, is this rotting flesh? What, what exactly is that? Give me your theories down below. What is this yellow stuff coating some of these bones? You can see it all around. Is that flesh? Is that some kind of bacteria? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts below. Okay. Oh, hi. Right, I'm gonna start saying <laughs> Now you're filming. So yeah, just saying how weird it is. this is. It's so hard to be, to stay respectful as well because I don't want to make a, a mess of these. And obviously this is, this is people. It's crazy. Can you, I don't know if you can even see me. I'm a dog. No. Oh, I'm okay then. Well, I'm struggling here. I'm struggling to stay up. So, Sick of being <laughs> bent down, it's killing me. But I don't know. It's no. it's a bit humbling, isn't it? Just a little bit. A bit of what? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Just a little bit. A little bit. I've just been sat here on my own, just contemplating life as we know it. It is weird. It does put things in perspective a little bit, doesn't it? Because we're all going to turn to this eventually. Yeah. Which is... Well, hopefully not in here. Well, no, hopefully not. But yeah, it, we still, regardless of where we end up, we're still going to be like this. Unless we burn, I suppose. That's a point. Are you... Do you want to be cremated or buried? None. None? You none. want to be a nun? Yeah. And I don't want any. Well, you've got to be one or other. No, because... You're going to be turned into a diamond? Yeah. I'm, I'm a diamond geezer already. <laughs> no, I want... No, because I'm... I'm I've donated all my organs. Anything that can use, it's all donated. Right. And that rest of my body's been given to medical science. Yeah, but you've still got to go somewhere. And then rest can put in a black bin line at the bottom of the garden. <laughs> that's it. That, that's my wishes. I want to be buried all together in one piece. Tough enough, it's going to be one big coffin. <laughs> you horrible man. <laughs> so nasty to me. Even after I've driven you all the way. Even after death, I'm still horrible to you. <laughs> Right, let's I'll get be dead before you when I'm going to come back and haunt you. Well, I don't know if you will die before me, to be fair. What are you looking at? Nobody can see my face anymore because you're not shining on it. But that's too bright, so I've got to put it there. You know how pretty I am. Right, let's get out of here because I can't literally yeah, stay, in this, pins and needles I in can't stay in this position much longer. Let's go. See, this is what you don't see on the explorers. You don't see the tight holes that we have to fit through the entrances and normally we can't show you because it means it shows you how to get in places this is different we can show you how difficult things can be look at that tight squeeze literally just getting his foot through that bottom bit and now I've got to follow him and I'm a lot fatter Right, he's coming out the most awkward way you can think of for some reason. See, this is all about death, now it's about giving birth. Yes. <laughs> okay, but it's gross. Are you actually going to come out like that? Yeah. Are you going to be able to reach? Oh no. <laughs> Shots. Shots are going to be so Nice. Oh, that wasn't very clever, was it, Matt? Did you bang your head then? Yeah. Oh. Jesus Christ. All fun, though. <laughs> right, guys. We are making our way on to one of the most iconic parts of the catacombs. Like Dan has just been saying behind me, it's sort of a, a rite of passage coming into this place and making your way to the throne of bones. Now, it is, as it sounds, a large throne made up of pretty much, if not all, of the bones of the body. And there's some, some people sat on this over the years, and we are gonna be the next ones to do that. I'm just gonna have to do it quite lightly, I think, Dan. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, I, just, I can't put all my weight on it. I don't think it'll last very long. So anyway, let's catch up with them. Now this is what I didn't expect, to be going deeper, downstairs. Now this is the first level. We're off onto the second drop in a second again, even further down. And we're getting to more and more bones, skulls, more complete ones now as well. Wow. And I keep seeing death. This picture of death on the wall seems to be recurring through the whole place. 
But I suppose it makes sense. All the police calls on here. Wow. Turn the light down a bit. Look at these. That is mental. Look at that though with the the like where the eyes were, eye sockets. That one looks a bit. What's like, that on earth? They've had their head smashed in. Don't know. It's just nothing but bones. That says 1971 on there. 1971 to 2005. Around this corner. 1865. No, go around the corner and you'll see no, what it I mean. Says it's in 2005. All oh, right, yeah, someone's put that plaque there. But here is 1865. Oh, that's but can we go down there? I don't know. Route Alexis Demon. That's really strange. We'll carry on and then we'll ask on our way back. Yeah, this is it's getting more sort of cramped as well. It's getting a little bit eerie. I'm not gonna lie, it's like a bit of a scary feel to it. And the floor's strange as well. Look, it's like textured. I don't know if it's cobbles or if it's just how the dirt's gone. And then more and more, more complete skulls each time. That's, that's insane. Said the tunnels seem to be getting quieter and the air is different down here. It fit, ah, you bastard, that's my head. So that's what you've got to do is concentrate because if you don't, it'll be my fucking skull down here or half of it on the floor anyway. Right, so we've finally made it through to the throne of bones and look at that. Absolutely amazing. Now, you've got all these skulls with all the different like, people's heads. It's crazy. But then I found the biggest skeleton with the biggest boner around this corner here. <laughs> and he's hiding and waiting. You trying to stay off camera? But it didn't work. Okay. And a little gnome up there as well. So anyway, let's get out of here. At this point, Andrew from Proving Demons suggested we did an EVP session. Now, for you guys that aren't really sure what that is, it's an electronic voice phenomena. So basically a ghost or a spirit being picked up on a voice recording. Can you try to make a noise? Give me a sign of your presence. Do you hear that scratching noise? I heard something. It's over. so faint. I doubt the cameras can pick it up, but it's... Like that corner there. Yeah. Right, let me have a listen. Now, if you watch our channel, you know we're not the sort of people that make things up just for views. We just don't. There's no point. But if you like paranormal stuff, get over to Andrew's channel and check that out. There was a noise in that corner, and I heard it, and Andy heard it. But what it was... We just don't know. Right guys, so this is called the Lantern Room. Now obviously, you can see some there. Jesus Christ, that is a long way down. It's not water at the bottom of this one though, for a change. What one in there is then, with the little candles or? That's a bird, that's a little bird in there though. It's like a swan. It's like a, what them things called in the baby cribs? Oh yeah, um, mobile. Mobile, yeah. yeah. That's exactly what it's like. Oh, it looks like that's cool though. It's good. Mm. Oh, sure. I'm not going to touch it actually, just in case it breaks. Yeah. What's a well? <laughs> Deep one. You tired out. We've been marching, haven't we, for a while? Marching, yeah. The whole point of it, though, isn't it? Yeah, End that's it. Well, yeah, it we, knew it's gonna, we knew it's going to be a long, long trek. Miles to cover, though, isn't it? That's the thing. And we've we've only touched the surface. Probably less than a quarter yeah. of probably what it is 
down here. Now, like I've said already, I want to say, um, I said, what are they called? Beyond, um, Beyond Limits. Beyond Limits Airbex. I want to say thank you to them. Now, it seems like we've come on a bit of a tour, but they've been here so many times before, and it would be a shame not to listen to what they've got to say because they know the they stuff. They know absolutely everything about it. Yeah, and we don't. And it's not, we, you know, we're not like this. We don't normally go out with other people and listen to them. We do our own thing, but sometimes it's nice, especially if they've got the, the knowledge. It was good to hear some of the stuff about it, wouldn't it, really? So, right. We never, would never have got down here. No, we, we wouldn't have, have been lost. We'd have been gone. We've been like left, right, left, right, and I, I wouldn't have even remembered. The, the way back, let alone the way in. So, right, we are going to have a bit of a look further up here. There is other things as well that we've not seen yet. Yeah. I feel like you, you want to say something. No, just a term. A bit overwhelmed. Yeah. To be fair, it is very, very strange. It's very, it's very strange. Very surreal. Yeah. Actually it being is. down here. It is really hard. Nice, uh, oh, it's gonna, nice round there. Is it? Yeah. I'm going to have a look then. Yeah, I won't spoil it for you. Oh, thank, thanks, Bucky. <laughs> thanks for not spoiling it. I'll let you go and see yourself. Oh, you're a lovely lad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make our way around and have a look. So, what we got around this cut? Oh, wow. This, I feel like I've interrupted something here. Sounds. Sounds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's good though, isn't it? The little chandelier. It's mean. You could spend... Oh, yeah. You could spend a long time down here, though, couldn't you? You really could. Spend a week. Yeah. But I just... I like the feeling of it. I don't... Like, you know, you think, like, mines and stuff, it's, like, murky and dark and it feels a bit... Icky. I like it down There's a nice feeling down here. I don't know why. Yeah, a lot of people ask me, you know, why do I like the underground so much and... I think it's just peaceful. It's yeah. Peaceful about it. Yeah. Just take that time sometimes to yeah, stop and not talk. And I've interrupted that, so now I'm going to go away. <laughs> right, somebody's been having a good night. Looks like they're legless, to be fair, because they've left the pelvis behind. But look at that. That's amazing. I know sandstone's easy to carve, but still, that's time and effort that's gone into that. It really is. Oh, we've got another one of the little men as well. Oh, there's some more little ones here, look, as well. Little faces. Yeah, I like the skull. Really good. Oh, yeah, they're nuts and bolts, aren't they? Yeah. It's good. Right, guys. So, it's about one o'clock in the morning. And we potentially are lost. Now, obviously we're not in charge of where we're going, but the guy in the front has been looking at his map constantly and looking quite worried. And they're not talking in English for a change, they're talking in German, which worries me, because I'm guessing they don't want us to panic. Not that we would, but it's interesting how long we're going to be stuck down here for. Right, we've just had our first little bit of trouble. Uh, so some other cataphiles, that's not, they don't like children, they just like coming down the catacombs. So basically, um, one of the guys that are with us have just filmed them, and I don't know whether he did it on purpose or it's just as they were walking past, and they weren't happy about it at all. So they've tried to grab his camera, and uh, but they've gone now, so we are, we are all right. And I think probably the amount of us has helped because there wasn't as many of them as there is us. But it just shows how this place can be quite dangerous, especially if you are just one or two of you or you're not experienced down here. Because obviously you just don't, you don't film people you don't know without the permission. And that's just how it is really. Now we have been traveling along for quite a while now, sort of seeming like we're not sure where we're going. They're still checking maps, having discussions between themselves. And it is brilliant because I actually like the, the thought of being a little bit lost. I know that makes me a bit weird, but at the end of the day, it's an adventure. And that's what we've come down here for. We've not come for a, just a guided tour. We've come for a, an adventure and to find something that we would never normally see. Right, we've come to a place where there seems to be 
quite a lot of people. I don't know if you can hear them in the background. And now, yeah, we're putting the cameras away because we don't want to be getting people on camera that don't want to be on, like we said. Right, so Andy's just behind me, I think. Are you behind me? Yeah. Yeah. Now we've just been sent away from a certain place because of the, the thing yeah. that happened. I've seen it, don't worry. And we, we're heading in a totally different direction now. And I think we are trying to make our way out, but it's just a bit awkward because the way we were supposed to be going is directly through where the cataphiles are. So we've now got to try and find a different way out. Now, we are now heading back the direction we've just come from. Now, that's not a good sign. It can't be a good sign. Then they've just said that they need to re reorientate themselves. That for me is German for I'm fucking lost. So, look, once again, change direction. It's worrying guys, but like I said, it's all part of the adventure. And I know it's pretty serious to be fair, but these guys, I trust them. I trust them or I wouldn't have come down with it in the first place. They're good guys that have got experience. They've got the maps, they'll work it out and we will get out of here. Right, so we've got some more cat files coming so the cameras are going off. Right, we've just been turned around again. This is a, another room full of cataphiles. They don't like us down here. They don't like cameras. They don't like foreigners. So we need to kick them in. Get out of the way. Right, so we're now we're about heading out. We we found where we were supposed to be again. So we've got a castle. We've got I swear that is related to Benny, the missing penguin. And look at this. I think it's really cool. I didn't know I didn't know it was a castle. It was like a little chair from back there. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, no way. it's really good. Right guys, making our way out. You can see the sweat on my face again. This water is freezing, but I'm still really, really warm. It's, uh, it's probably knee deep and also bending down. I've got to keep to the left because it's really deep on the right. It almost looks like he's got, it's lit up down here, but it's literally the amount of torches people are using. It's like they've all got their individual torch. It's amazing down here. One of the best places I've ever been. Right, I'm not sure what time it is. I haven't looked how we're looking a minute. But as you can see by the steam coming off my shoulders and back, my sweaty face, I'm exhausted. And we're going again. We're going again. I don't know how much more of this I can take. You've got to remember, and I, mo I know I moan about it a lot. I've got damaged back, and this is not the ideal situation. But I still love it every second. Even the pain makes you remember you're alive, I suppose. What's that? We almost found our way out. Yeah. Right. I can't believe how long we've been in here. Seriously. It's it's, it's a long, a long, long time. But finally, we seem to be getting... I've got trench foot. <laughs> I don't know if I've got any feet. I can't feel them anymore. Right. So we've finally made it out. Now, can you believe how long we've been down there? That is probably the longest explore we've ever done. Longest ever. Probably one of the hardest as well, physically. I've never felt pain like that. That last... One of the hardest. Yeah. Definitely one of the hardest, especially on the legs and the back. Yeah. It's my, it's my back that does me every time, but it's just that crouching action, isn't it? So. Oh, I don't have battery. Oh, no. Never mind. 
Good to see you. Really, really good crew. Thank you very much. Thank you. No problem. Really good. Thank you ever really so much. Good trip. <laughs> now the explore is over. We make our way out of the tunnels. And at this point, I would love to say a huge, huge thank you to the guys from Germany from Beyond Limits Urbex. Especially Gala Kid, who I've known for a long time, who's helped us out on the Belgium trip last year. Really, really good guys. I couldn't have picked a better group to go with. We had such a good time. So please pop over to their channel, give them a subscribe, watch some of their amazing videos, some of the locations that I've never been to that I'm really, really jealous of. Please go and check those guys out. And thank you once again, and we hope to work with you very, very soon. Right, so we've got Bucky on a scooter. We're all gonna get one, because we can't get a taxi. We're gonna make our way back that way. This is mint, this is one of the best ways to finish an explore ever. So that has got to be one of the best explores we've ever done. And not just the best explores, the ending to that explore is unbelievable. I've, I still can't get over it. I've just had so much fun. One of the craziest things I've ever done in my life. Yeah, coming out of Paris catacombs, 
which is a, a dream come true anyway. And then going from that to razzing round on scooters with like four of the, is there four of you? There is four of you. Four. Of the most funny people ever. It's just so good. Right, we are gonna go to bed because what time is it? 20 past five. 20 past five in the morning. Unbelievable. I'm so Shave, shampoo and shoe shine. Shower and sleep oh. for me. No, I just I've actually seized up. Yeah, I can't. You've seized just had to, you just had to take my socks off for me because I couldn't do it. So, we're going. Thank you guys ever so much. So, thanks to Dan. Thanks to Bucket. Thanks. Why did I just look at you and want to call you John? I think it's from earlier. You know, because you were calling us that earlier on. I called, I called him Dick. Oh, yeah. Somebody, somebody called him Dick for some reason. No, so, thanks to Andrew and thanks to... Matthew, wherever he is down there. I've seen his arse crack. Yeah, well, most people have to be fit. Watch any of our videos and it's in most of them. So, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. The company's been amazing and now we're going to fuck off. So we will see you soon. Bye-bye. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates.